We're going to look at how changes in demand and marginal cost affect monopoly output, doing some mathematical proofs. Here's some monopolies inverse market demand, just in general format. And here is the monopolist marginal cost. What is the effect of an increase in C on the monopoly's output? We're going to get marginal revenue. Marginal revenue, doing a shortcut method here, just equals the inverse market demand with a slope that is twice as steep. So take the inverse market demand and place a 2 in front of the B and you have marginal revenue. Now we're going to profit maximize by setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. And we're going to solve for Q. Moving some things around, subtracting C from both sides, and adding 2BQ to both sides. Now let's factor out a Q term on the right-hand side. And we're going to divide through by D plus 2B. And that gives us our profit maximizing output. So dividing through by what's in parentheses, we have the monopolist profit maximizing output given by the following expression. Now, what is the effect of an increase in C on Q? Recall C is just a constant in our marginal cost equation. So what happens if that increases? What happens to the profit maximizing output level? All we're going to do is take the partial derivative of this equation right here with respect to C, and we get back the following result, minus 1 over D plus 2B. So the uh, partial derivative here of minus c is just minus 1. The partial derivative of a is 0, so you're just left with this result in the numerator, all divided by what's in the denominator. And since this is negative, since this partial derivative here is negative, an increase in c causes a monopoly to produce less output. And in our second example, we want to find the effect of an increase in a on the monopoly's profit maximizing output. And if you recall A, that is going to be the vertical intercept of the monopolist demand curve, or sometimes called the demand choke price. And if that were to increase, how does that affect Q? Same technique, we can take the partial derivative of this uh, profit maximizing condition for output with respect to A, and we get back a positive result here. So the partial derivative of A is just 1. The partial derivative of minus C here, that's going to be just treated as a constant, so that's 0. So we get 1 over what we have into the denominator. Again, it is positive, so an increase in A causes the monopoly to produce more output. Okay, that's it.